Hello everyone. It's a new syllabus mathematics book 1, chapter 1. Primes, highest common factor and lowest common multiple. Today, our topic is mental estimation of square root and cube root. As you have learned before perfect squares. There are some perfect squares from 1 to 100. The first one is 1 because 1 into 1 equals 1. The second one is 4 because 2 into 2 equals 4. The third one is 9 because 3 into 3 equals 9. The fourth one is 16 because 4 into 4 equals 16. The fifth one is 25 because 5 into 5 equals 25. Then 36, 49, 64, 81 and the last is 100. We can easily find square root of any perfect square. Like 81, we know that, there are two same numbers we multiply together to get 81. So, the square root of 81 is 9. But what will happen, if we find the square root of 80, which is not a perfect square? There isn't any two same number which we multiply to get 80. Unfortunately, we cannot find the square root of 80. But we can estimate the answer. Let's have a look again on perfect square. So we are going to find out the square root of 80. Is there any perfect square which is closer to 80? Yes, it is 81. And the square root of 81 is 9. So, the estimated answer of square root of 80 is 9. Let's check with calculator, how much closer we are. The exact answer is 8.9442791. It's as much closer to 9. Same as cube root. There are only 4 perfect cubes between 1 and 100. 1, 9, 27, and 64. It's easy to find the cube root of any perfect cube. For example 27. The cube root of 27 equals 3. But, what about 60? Can we find the cube root of 60? We can't, but we can estimate. There are two perfect cubes which is closer to 60. First is 27, and the second is 64. Now, which one is much closer? As you can see, 64 is much closer than 27. So, the cube root of 60 equals 4.